Aldridge ran for office, he made your state a sacred promise that he would not raise your taxes. Then he got elected and broke that promise by ramming through the largest tax hike in your state's history, John Bell Edwards. And you know, because the state obviously likes me, I think I won like by a lot. I don't even know why the hell you like a guy that lives on Fifth Avenue, but I like you too. But I used to go to construction sites. My father would be putting up houses or a building. And I'd go and I'd work with the workers. And that's when I realized these are the people I love. These are the people. These are the real people. I know them all. I know the good ones. I know the bad ones. I like those workers. But John Bell Edwards lied to the people of Louisiana. While every other state is making massive job gains, and you don't even know this, Edwards' terrible policies are killing jobs across your state. Edwards is now trying to destroy Louisiana's energy sector. You know that, right? With threats and lawsuits inspired by the radical left-wing Washington activists and Democrats. That's what he's doing, right? John Bell Edwards, not good, goes around saying, I like Trump very much. He's very good. But behind my back, he doesn't like me. A friend of mine knows him well. He said, behind your back, he's not so good. John Bell Edwards was a superdelegate for crooked Hillary Clinton. And he supported, by the way, it looks like Bernie lost his chance, huh? Bernie was hitting a baseball today to show how strong he was. There just wasn't a lot of bad head speed. Bernie, get better, but Bernie, I just like, get better, get better fast. It's the only time I've ever said anything good about him. But, but boy, did they take advantage of him four years ago. And he let him do it. You can't do that. You can't let people take advantage. He figured, I'll wait four years. It's a little bit tough. But it looks like, you know, when Bernie gets out, which seems inevitable, when Bernie gets out, it looks like those will go to your radical leftist Elizabeth Warren, right? And that, unfortunately, will be the end of Sleepy Joe, because I would really probably most like to run again. I don't know. It's sort of anybody. I don't care. Whoever it is, just put them out there. Let's get this thing going. But John Bell Edwards supported far-left candidates like Stacey Abrams, our friend Brian Kemp. He did a number on Stacey Abrams. She's still saying, what happened? What happened? She had Oprah. You know, Oprah used to be a very good friend of mine. She used to go to Mar-a-Lago, a place I have in Palm Beach. She loved Mar-a-Lago. She loved the key lime pie. She did. No, so do I. She loved the key lime pie. But she used to go. She loved me until I decided to run for office. But she went to Georgia, and she campaigned for Stacey. And Obama went, and Michelle Obama went, and they campaigned. And all Brian Kemp had was Donald Trump. And we had a rally at the airport, and there were 55,000 people at that rally. That was the day before, maybe two days before the election. I said, Brian, congratulations. You're going to win. You're going to win. And he won by two and a half points, which was amazing. Every star, everybody went down there for Stacey Abrams. Louisiana cannot take four more years of a liberal Democrat governor raising your taxes, killing your jobs, attacking your industries, and taking money from open borders extremists. How about these people that want open borders? Let everybody come in. Let them all come. Tomorrow, you've got to vote John Bell Edwards out. And the way you do that is before the game, you got to get going. You got to just leave an hour early, maybe even a half.